Good morning and welcome to ICT with Mr Milne. Not only am I Year 7 Head of Year, I'm also an ICT teacher. Your first lesson from Ormiston Bolingbrook Academy is going to be regarding computer security. What I'm hoping is that the objectives for this lesson are that you will understand the meaning of a digital footprint and how to protect your data. I'm also hoping to de that you can demonstrate an understanding by creating a poster at the end of it. So that will be your first task. You may want to make notes as we go along, but you'll be able to watch this over and over again. There's your digital footprint. It's not just a normal footprint. I mean, as you have a look at it, you can see it's got 0101 in it. It's not a real footprint, your digital footprint. It's an example. Imagine when it's thick with snow and you're walking through the snow, delving through, it's deep up to your knees, it's coming over the top of your Wellingtons. It's a bit like that on the internet. Once you put something on the internet, that snow gets deeper and deeper and your footprints are always there until it defrosts and leaves and goes away. I went to Google and I put in the definition. I wanted to find out what digital footprint meant and it came up with this, the information about a particular person that exists on the internet as a result of their online activity. So it's anything that you do online. If you go online and you use a website, it will remember something about you. That is your footprint. If you go online and you perform a search, Google will remember that or Bing will remember that. That is your footprint. You're leaving footprints wherever you go. It's a little bit of a trail. What is data? So thinking about your digital footprint, it's made by data. Data, as it does in the footprint, is zero, one, zero, one, zero. It's just zeros and ones. Computers, computers aren't clever. We're clever because we tell computers what to do. Zero and one is the language that a computer speaks. That's how it controls itself, but you control the computer. So those zeros and ones are recognized as data. Or another word for it might be information. So data is information. What information can be stored by your school? So if you think carefully about the sort of information your school keeps on you, yes it has your name and your age, yes it has your address, it's aware of any allergies that you might have, it's aware of the doctors, we've got mum's telephone number, dad's telephone number, your carer's telephone number, we've got two or three people that we can call, we've got email addresses. Not only that, in school, don't forget we've got your results, we've got your grades, we know who's in what class, we know who's behaving, who's not behaving. So we keep all that data, we store that information about you. However, what do you store on your mobile device? I'm wondering how many of you have got a laptop or a tablet or your own mobile phone and probably, not like when I was young, probably lots of you. What's on there? Do you have bank details on there like I have? Do you have credit card details on there? You may not, but you will have contact details. You've got the personal and private information of everybody in your telephone or your laptop. You might have home addresses, you might have work addresses, you might have passwords stored. So within your own mobile devices, you've got data or information about yourself and sometimes people want to get hold of that information or that data. We are lucky because in school we follow the Data Protection Act. So we protect all of your information. Only we can see it in school. It doesn't get supplied to anyone else. But on your mobile phone, you're in charge of that. How can we keep your data secure? So what do you do? What do you do on your mobile device or your digital device to keep it secure? Do you use a password? Do you have a username? We in school, for you to log on to your computer at OBA, you need two-factor authentication. You have a username and you also have a password. You'll be supplied that in year seven and that is your access to the whole world of IT in the academy. You could get into your mobile device with a fingerprint now or facial recognition 
or even a retina scan on your eye. This is known as biometrics. Biometrics are your personal touch. You might have antivirus installed on your device and you might have something called a firewall. Antivirus does what it says on the tin. It's not your anti, but it stops viruses getting onto your device. A firewall is a wall that protects you and stops people accessing your device when you don't want them to be there. How do you keep your information safe? A lot of you will use a password. A lot of you will just use a sequence of numbers on your mobile phone or a pattern. What makes a password secure are these key elements. It should be 8 to 16 digits long. And it should include not just letters and numbers, but symbols. And it should have uppercase and lowercase too. Now feel free, there's lots of websites around that you can put your name in and it will give you a secure password. In fact, some websites you can just ask for a password and it will give you a password that nobody else in the world has got. A UD, unique identifier. So on here, these are things that make a password secure. If you use a password, please use these things. Don't use one of them. Don't just use letters. Use all of them. Letters, numbers, uppercase, lowercase and symbols. Because we don't want people accessing your digital footprint, your data. Or your information. Here's a task that I'd like to present you with. Based on the information that I've just discussed with you, could you draw around your foot? Could you pop your foot on a piece of paper? Could you draw around your foot? Could you create a digital footprint? And within that foot, I wonder if you could create a list of ways that we can keep our data secure. How do we keep our data secure? And then to develop it a bit further, write around it a list of ways to make a password secure. To create a list of ways that we could keep our password so that nobody else could access it. So your first task from Ormiston Bolingbroke Academy, your ICT teacher and your head of year 7, is to create for me a digital footprint poster. I look forward to seeing some examples. Thank you.